All right, we're sitting out to Jenny's. Me and Dennis, but he's over there taking a leak. And today is nothing but bottom fish in the Jenny's. Had a friend of mine catch probably, what was it, 50 pound drum out here yesterday. As this tide falls, we're going to be gearing up for black drum. I don't really care about catching them 50 pounders, but I mean, it would be nice. I mean, to catch one maybe, but I'd like to get some for the fish box. I usually don't keep them. I usually don't eat them over 15, 18 pounds, really. They start to get a little gnarly. We're on a fallen tide, but we're really not sitting in the super current yet here. It'll be coming though, no doubt. And I'm going to be trying the Ryoga. <laughs> and, I love it when you do that. <laughs> and that little Ryoga, well that's the Ryoga shrapnel. And this is just a 20 Ryoga. I'm going to try to put it through its paces today. I'd love to put it through its paces today. Because I'm a tackle junkie. I got something I can't budge. I can't budge it. Array already? I don't know. Now it's shaking its head. Piece of shrimp. Piece of shrimp, folks. Piece of shrimp. There's something really, really big. I've I've had shit like this hooked up before. Okay. Oh. You think this is a hundred pound drum? <laughs> All right, I thumped it. I think that was a giant ray. But you got to treat everything as it could be the big drum. Okay. Time to get back at it. Ah, ah. Morsel. All righty, folks. While you're out here drum fishing, the added benefit. Get yourself some little whitelings. Some whitelings for a fish fry later on. And uh, the bigger the whitelings, the happier the fishermen. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Because the whitelings are all over the bottom out here. Alright, first black drum. We kind of gave up on them big monsters. All right, I could tell it was different, but still, we were out, way out there. All we caught was a bunch of whiting. Yeah. So now we come up inside the rocks and, hey, it's an eater, but still, he ain't all that big. All oh, this fancy hoo guess what? I caught him on shrimp that a whiting just burped up. <laughs> Pre-chewed. A, B, C. Pre-chewed. Already been chewed. Okay, bonus fish! Nice fat yellow mouth trout.
bonus. Usually get some yellow mouth in here. We just we just need more than quantity of whiting. Yeah. You know? But he'll do. Alright, Dennis has got himself a nice fat white lin. That's what we call the other trout. <laughs> Hold them up again. That's that eats so good. Oh yeah. Deep fried. Woo! <laughs> Hold on, them. Don't let them kick your ass. You can it. Got some kind of head thump on here. Oh, he's in my other line. Uh, drunk. Big old grunt. It's in your drunk. It's in your line. Yes. There you go. Yes. That's what, nope. we've, been, that's what we've been waiting for. No. Grab your rod. It's all tangled in Dennis's line. A good eater. But the big ones are very elusive. That's the size, yeah, you want to eat. But still, we would like to have some kind of kicker fish. Something. Something big. That's the biggest fish of the day. We've been sitting through the rain, sit moving around. But the 30 pounder or the 15 pounder has eluded us all day long. But that's two drum. We should have ten. You can be mad at me. I broke your line. You what? I broke your line off your rod. I went to cast and I didn't see your line hanging down. You just snapped right to it. My bad. Which, babe. which which one? Oh, oh I you thought just you were talking about. On? Oh, jeez. Oh. Alright, well, we're done for today. And uh, all we really ended up with was um, two pup drum, one yellow mouth, and a whole bunch of whiting of various sizes. Uh, I guess we were a day late, a dollar short when it came to catching big giant 50 pounders, as usual. Day late, a dollar short, right? That had the end anyway. <laughs> but these are all eaters. Wait a minute. The, the reason Mayport, Florida is the, lo is the loudest, noisiest place you'll ever fish in your entire life. Navy. Stupid Navy helicopters constantly. Oh, if you don't hurry up and get a gap here, there'll be another one. Um, this is a whole lot better eating than a 50 pound black drum, but we wanted that one, at least one kicker fish, right? Yeah. Wanted yeah. at least a kicker fish to send us over. So, you know, we sat in the rain. Yeah. Right the elements. Brave the elements, fished for what, nine hours? At least. All right, so um, okay. I'd say what the best thing, the easiest thing to do is you load up whiting into the into the scooper, scooper yeah. and bring them all back and I'll start whacking. <laughs> all right, buddy. <laughs> That's a nice one.
whiting. Whiting aren't huge fish, but when it comes to frying up, these things are unbelievably tasty. They're all full of eggs. They're all full of eggs. See, the nice thing about whiting uh, is to they fillet like trout real easy. I mean, look at that. Look at guys, you got fish guts everywhere. Clean up after yourself, will ya? Okay, I think we've had enough of this fun. Yeah.